Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book. Number 317. 317, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all you nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hailed incarnate deity, pleased as one with us to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we continue this season of Christmas at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Pat McMahon and Mr. and Mrs. Alfonso Sequera, and for the repose of the soul of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, and the special intention for Damar Hamlin. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are happy to die on the cross to free us from our sin. Christ, have mercy. You are the one who leads us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the nativity of your only begotten Son wondrously began for your people the work of redemption, grant, we pray, to your servants such firmness of faith that by his guidance they may attain the glorious prize you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of John. My little children, this is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers, and you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, 
for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. The word of the Lord. The response, let all the earth cry out with joy. Cry out with joy. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Let all the earth cry out with joy. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Let all the earth cry out with joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Let all the earth cry out with joy. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After choosing Andrew and Peter to be his first disciples, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. Jesus said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending above the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. We continue to hear of the first call of the disciples yesterday, of course, Andrew and Simon Peter, today, Philip and Nathaniel. And we see how these apostles are transformed by this personal invitation of Jesus to come follow me. This is the call that each of us received on the day of our baptism. And we come not on our own, but by our parents and godparents' examples of faith for us. And as the prayers of the church say at the baptismal right at the conclusion, that it is our responsibility to raise them in the ways of faith, to be that faith witness for them. Today we will bury the former Holy Father, Pope Benedict, who heard the call of God, who had no desire to follow him as the Holy Father. He was ready to just retire, and God had a different plan for him. Joseph Ratzinger said yes to God, and became Pope Benedict and served God in a very particular way. How is God calling each of us to do the same? As he calls us by name, he calls us to a very different life. I didn't expect to be a priest. God called me to be a priest. I was given the choice to say no or yes. Obviously, you know what I chose, very happily, by the way, 11 years ago, although today's not my anniversary. 
um, it's important that each of us are willing to say yes, even in our vocational call. Every day, I have to say yes to serve Jesus. Every day, you are called to say yes to Jesus. Are we willing to do just that? So that we live, as we heard in the first letter of John, as little children of God, following in the plan that God has for each of us. May our yes be like Mary, truly from the bottom of our heart, that as we long to serve God each and every day of our lives, whether we are young or young at heart, no matter our age or life experience or circumstance, we are called to live in the service of Jesus Christ. And so as we continue the, this Christmas season, may we do so with joy as we commit ourselves to say yes to God. Let us bring the needs of our community and the world before our merciful Father. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, may the example of Jesus inspire us in humble service for love of God and his people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick and have asked for our prayers. We remember especially Father Stephen, Damar, and all who are sick, especially those who have no one to pray for them. That Jesus, the divine physician, may heal them and set them free, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for public authorities. May God lead them in working to protect the dignity and sanctity of all life. From conception until natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who suffer from doubt or despair. May the Lord open their eyes to the truth and fill them with his love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those in our community who are experiencing difficult times. May the Lord surround them with the support they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Pat, the Sequera family, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, the holy souls in purgatory and all who have died. That may God in his mercy bring them to everlasting rest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Father of love and mercy, hear our prayers we bring to you, those we voiced aloud and those we hold within our hearts, and grant them according to your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in the company of the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. By Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family which you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially Pat and Pope Benedict and all who have died. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in, in spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our lives may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, Hail the Son of Righteousness, Light and life to all He brings, Risen with healing in His wings. Mild He lays His glory by, Born that we no more may die, Born to raise us from the earth, Born to give a second birth. Hark, the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. God bless you. Have a good day.